Good morning, everyone. I'm Jen Houston, owner of the Artsy Fartsy Gallery here in Canmore, Alberta, Canada. I'm a full-time independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator, and I love doing this for my full-time job. And of course, this is a free class that I'm offering, and um, the way I get paid is when people order Stampin' Up! supplies through me or participate in some events. Um, so let me show you an example of an event that you can participate in. Um, doo -doo -doo. Let me show you this screen. There we go. So right now you can get a little card like this, um, minus all the pieces. You'll get to put the pieces together um, for all of the new um, January to June catalog that's coming out right away. So you'll have examples of all the DSP, the, the, the designer series paper, plus all the little bits of cardstock cut out for you. And then one evening we're gonna all get together, if you like, and put them all together. They're great to have examples of all of the card or cardstock that matches with the DSP. So you don't have to fiddle through all of your DSP to say, oh yeah, which one was that a part of? You can just look at your cards quickly, quick sn snippet of this and um, away we go. So I have, a, I think, two more spots left that I can have um, for people to join this. But it's uh, a fun way definitely to check out all the fun new papers and have an example of all of the designer series paper that comes from the new catalog. So if this interests you, it's $24. And I'm throwing in the three uh, celebration papers as well. So lots of fun. It arrived, that, in, that price includes shipping. I'm having trouble with my words today. Uh, just, whew, it's been a crazy day, of course. So there you go, that's an example of something that you may like to have. Other than that, let's uh, keep rolling here. I see lots of people popping on, yay! Hello everyone, welcome, it's Friday. <laughs> it's been a long week for me, um, a long hard week. This is my first week back into the swing of things and my goodness, and you forget how hard you have to work. <laughs> But that's okay. That's okay. I had a fun. I had so much fun, and it was so great connecting with all of you. So thanks so much for commenting. That helps out my little business, and you know, Facebook algorithms, and gets my videos out there to people that may purchase my products. And um, also, you know, chit chat amongst yourself, ask questions. If I don't see the question while we're crafting away here, because I get a little busy. Uh, I do go back afterwards and have a look. So thanks everyone for chit-chatting and make sure you send off lots of hearts to things that you absolutely love. It encourages me and it keeps me going, that's for sure. So Friday, fun folds. Are you ready? Of course, my fun folds, they have to be simple, otherwise I'm too scared. <laughs> I know lots of you are like the fun fold queens. I saw Karen's name pop up on here and I know she does amazing folds. So she's probably already done this one, but if you've already done this idea, um, let it be a reminder for you. Oh yeah, there's this one we could use or, oh, I think I see I'm lagging. Here, let me press a button. Hopefully all is good. Awesome. I also see Kathy, she shared this video with her uh, craft and friends. Thank you so much for doing that. I appreciate that. All right, let's get rolling. Snowflake Splendor has been the feature this week. I've had lots of fun with it. Um, I am glad that I got that paper. I think it's very versatile. I love the colors can be that the colors can be calm, they can be bold, they can be mixed all together and they all make sense. So I love that. I suppose I should get you my screen here. Boop. There you go. Don't be scared, oh, scared yet. <laughs> all right. So let us get out a piece of pool party 
And this card isn't kind of traditional in the sense that, you know, it, it, it opens like a book, right? This is just going to be one piece of pool party that is measuring four and a quarter by five and a half. And I'm pretty much going to guarantee that I am going to forget what the measurements are. So um, feel free to head on over to my blog later on today and I will have all the measurements and scoring lines and all that kind of stuff available for you there. So. We're starting off with that. Next off, I have a layer here that is four by five and a quarter of Whisper White. And I don't know if you can see, but those are the dainty diamonds. Aren't those gorgeous? I ran it through the stamp and cut and emboss machine with the dainty diamonds embossing folder. I love its subtle texture. I love its, um, it, I, I like subtle ones. I, I don't like, you know, big, Mm, of course that's me, right? <laughs> it, I just like the calm look of it and the simplicity of its text, it, if, it, if its pattern there, that's what I wanted to say. <laughs> then I'm going to also have another piece of Whisper White that is four by five and a quarter and that is going to go on the back of my card if you choose. I'm going to need a piece of Whisper White. Now here's where all, it all gets tricky. We're actually gonna be doing an accordion fold. So this piece is measuring nine inches by four and a quarter. Now I'm scoring at, let me see, one inch, two inches, four inches, and six inches, okay? So there's those scoring measurements. I will have that on my blog. And then you're gonna to wanna to have some DSP. So of course I'm, I'm using my Snowflake Splendor. And this one measure, let's just start at the beginning here. So three quarter inch by four, one and three quarter inch by four, two and three quarter inch by four. Okay, so three quarter, one and three quarter, two and three quarters all by four inches. And then you're gonna need some kind of shape, preferably, that is about a little over three inches long. So you can use your rectangle stitched framelits, you can just cut out a shape, you can, uh, they're not framelits, they're dies. Um, the stitch nested dies work, as you'll see on an example that I have. Um, Anyways, all sorts of shapes that you can kind of use to put your sentiment and whatnot on to your card. Okay, so let's get started. Let's go on with this piece first. Um, we're gonna do a little bit of folding, a little bit of stamping. Um, I'm gonna stamp first of all. I'm gonna be using this stamp set, Peace and Joy, I love these little pieces here, they remind me of Label Me Bold, which was one of my favorites, absolutely. Oh, love, 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 and miss it terribly. So, I'm going to actually stamp Joy. Do, do, do. Right on this second, so the second biggest. I'm gonna stamp the word Joy. Now my, I kind of card colors, Pool Party, Night of Navy, Balmy Blue. So let's go in with Balmy Blue. Now you wanna stamp this onto here while it's flat, because let me tell you, I stamped it while it was already folded and it does make it a lot more tricky. Just saying, why not do these things a little when they're easy? <laughs> So here's my big joy Boop. in balmy blue. I'm changing up what I totally thought I was gonna do, just just so you know. <laughs> um, let's go with uh, to you and yours. Is that gonna fit? <whistles> Iffy. We can always split it up, right? So let's actually do it on a scrap piece of paper. I'm gonna use Knight of Navy. And just along this scrap of Whisper White, 
I'm going to stamp the saying to you and yours. Okay, so now I'm gonna cut this out. I love this because these these little um, label stamps are so easy to cut out, they're little rectangles. Try and get them even-ish. The good part is that it's on white, going on to white, so it's not gonna to be too obvious if I don't quite get it right. Um, Let's just snip it here to you and yours. So let's pop this part up, why not? Actually, no, I'm not going to. I'm gonna wait with this because we have to do some folding and gluing and whatnot first. And I don't want that to fold, um, make a bump in my folds. Okay, here we go. We're gonna start folding this over. So I'm folding closing it onto the largest piece here. And I'm gonna use my bone folder just to give it a good crease. And I'm going to put it back and you'll probably catch, see how this is kind of like an accordion. Okay, and then you're gonna go back this way, give it a good crease. And once more. everything a good squish again there we go so when we open this it's kind of like little stairs cool hey I like it all right so now I'm gonna leave this open and we can start kind of gluing some of this designer series paper onto our card oh, I love that pattern of the paper so pretty just so many multiple colors in those that little snowflake paper. So this was the, what was size was it? Two and three quarters by four piece. Now I see I got a little piece of tape here. Um, let's see if I can show it underneath. If not, I'm going to go back later on and get out my eraser and take it off there I was able to shove it underneath nobody will know all right so our next biggest piece was the one and three quarters which is going to go there so look see how this is gonna look cute so right side joy See, we're kind of lined up here, okay? And then, once again, we're gonna have this little piece. And it's the three quarter piece, inch piece. So let's put that on there. Some of that tape, let's stick it underneath before I have to use my scissors. <laughs> All right, so we got ourselves this little step, these little steps. Isn't that pretty? Those colors go so well together, I love it. All right, so that's all the fancy schmancy work we're doing So with the folding. So now we can glue those uh, little two, um, these little labels. To you and yours, joy to you and yours. How's everyone's Friday going? Uh, I have, um, I'm getting an x-ray done on my foot and I forgot I have to weed whack my leg. So <laughs> that took a little longer than I thought. And then last night I just, I, oh, I could not, I was so tired. I couldn't get up and I pushed my alarm way too many times. And then of course it stopped going. Um, so didn't get up when I was supposed to. Had a nightmare and you know when you wake up and you're just like just like oh anyways so I needed to calm down <laughs> so I had to just lay in bed and take a lot of deep breaths and uh, calm myself down so that took longer than I expected <sighs> good times at the Houston household I tell you 
Okay, next, let's stick this little um, piece across here, and it's just going to house our label, basically, or your sentiment, or a picture, which you'll see is what we're going to use. But you, so you can put it right in the middle, you can choose to put it down towards an edge, whatever. But I only want to put adhesive on this portion of the, uh, I'm going to call it a label, sorry, um, a strip. So the way I'm going to make sure that I do not get glue where I don't want it to go is that I'm going to use my take your pick tool, the pokey part. And I'm just looking here, where does that end? And I'm just going to put a little poke just before that ending there. And that way I can see when I turn this over where exactly I am allowed to put glue. Um, I think I'm going to use liquid just to make sure it holds really well. You could use your um, tear and tape. You could use your stamp and seal as well, but I just, I just want to make sure that it's held super, super well. Oh, I should probably put it down a little farther. Here, let's go. Now I'm just relining this up, those little dots up, with the edge of this layer. Okay, so it's going to really be just like flappy, like so. You've had a rough week too, Amy? Oh, yeah. Okay, so now for our little piece that's going to go here. What I decided to do is I did a cl um, big class with 24 projects using this stamp set coming home, which Stampin' Up! has graciously donated for every sale of this stamp set they've donated four dollars i believe to adoption um different different children's kind of services uh like so so i really wanted to participate and get this set so i haven't played with it for everybody to see so i thought oh this will look cute on here now where did i put i had them kind of already done Lower? Are they under here? No. Oh my goodness gracious. Not there. Well, I had pre done them so that this would fly along faster. <laughs> check, check your bosom. <laughs> well, you've got to be kidding me. You know when I'm going to find this, right? When we're all done. I guess we're gonna start again until I locate. Anybody see a little house right here? Found it. Found it. Okay, so I pre-stamped this house onto a little stitched circle die, and I colored this in with balmy blue stamp and blends and crumb cake. I kind of like the crumb cake with this color, and then just. Pool party stamp and blends um, in the windows. Now, one of the cool things about this stamp set is that you can layer up the houses to make them even bigger or more 3D, I suppose, um, than they already are. So I stamped this one, but I also stamped this one, colored him up with similar colors. And then cut him out. And what we're going to do is we're going to layer him over top and look at. Isn't that cute? <laughs> I think it's so neat. But I want to pop him up because just because we can. I think it's so neat. So you can go from a house like this to a house with a porch in less than 30 seconds. That's my kind of home renovation. <laughs> so here we go. I'm going to try not to cover a window. Voila! Isn't it cute? 
love it. And so of course you can do these kind of things with all of these houses. So you can even put this big large one over top of here. Um, this over here makes it look like um, kind of almost, or this one here, sorry, somehow here, makes it look like a church. It's really neat. And this one, you can, I mean, you could put this little house in front of there, all sorts of fun things. And so it's really quite neat to make your own little village out of these little bits. And who does not love the little bug? I use those Christmas trees a lot. They work so well with all sorts of things. So isn't that adorable? And so I'm gonna put this onto here, like so. Now, once again, I want to know exactly where I'm allowed to put glue and where I can't. Otherwise, I'll be gluing my card together. <laughs> so I'm just going to take my Tinker Pick tool again and just give myself some little pokes at the edges of those that strip so that when I flip this over, I can see where to put my glue. Okay, let's just put a little string here. Go back this way. Uh, liquid glue. Well, you can put it in the center, you can put it off to the side, whatever you choose. But I'm just kind of lining up again where those little pokes were. Isn't that cute? You didn't know that? Oh, I'm so glad. HTV in the artsy fartsy studio. <laughs> one of my favorite channels sadly we don't have cable anymore so I do miss that but whenever I go to my parents house or somebody else's house I'm like I get my fix that's for sure now you know what else I forgot to use the shimmery crystal effects I was looking at my stamp and blends when I was coloring this um, up and I'm like oh, wait a minute so let's use that on our little house here so it's just kind of like liquid glue but it's got a little bit of shimmer to it so let's make some shimmer in the windows. It also makes it a little bit puffy. It'll just make it look like glass. So we'll make those windows look a little more realistic because they are pretty cool. probably should be doing this at the end right <laughs> why do anything right today I don't know it's you know fun Friday <laughs> that's okay we'll figure it out I don't know if you can see this but it looks cool looks cool here I'll hold it up and see if you can have a look so it just gives it a little bit of a puff look at see that oh they look like cool little windows a little bit frosty there we go okay before I leave this beginning part alone I was gonna put Merry Christmas um, in the label me bowl but I'm almost wondering well Maybe I could just do Christmas. Let's just do Christmas in Night of Navy with. Where is that here? All right, let's go to Night of Navy. Has Christmas snuck up on anybody else this year? Oh my goodness. Like I've been doing like 30 Christmas cards a day, at least, and I still have tons to go yet. And I've been working on them for quite a long time. So I'm gonna blame it on the post, post office <laughs> that they're late, if some people get them late. No, I wouldn't do that. I used to work for the post office and man, you know what, I don't know if you saw the, um, the, uh, uh, up north in, I don't know, Iqaluit, Nunavut, um, 
the post office person actually quit. Wrote a sign on the door, said, I quit. You know, you guys are all rude. And I, um, good luck in getting your parcels. <laughs> And I, I can really, I, people can get very snippy with you, that's for sure, at the post office. And so back in the day, I used to work at post office, lottery, and auto pack, which is like for car, insur car and house insurance. I probably shouldn't have put a little, I might have to take that off. Because otherwise it's going to stick the card closed and I really don't want that. Here we go. Christmas joy to you and yours. Isn't that fun? So yes, everybody who came to see you was pretty much grumpy. So the lottery people who didn't win were all like in a huff. <sighs> Not again. And then people who came for post where's my parcel? Um, I don't know. I didn't walk it there. I can't help you. And then auto pack. Nobody loves, you know, going to pay in for insurance. So it was just a, I was glad to, you know, get a teaching job. <laughs> Let's just put it that way. Okay. So now I'm going to I end up gluing this onto our uh, little dainty diamonds embossed layer here. Okay, normally I would lay this flat and do it like that, but since I was brilliant and put that shim uh, shimmery, what's it called? Shimmery crystal effects on the windows. I guess I won't do that. Okay, and now I'm going to glue this right onto our card base. So once again, I'm just going to hold it in there. <laughs> So yes, I am going to be sending my local post office a very big, you know, Merry Christmas card because they deal with me all year and uh, they're very kind to me. Um, but not everybody's so sweet. So um, I kind of want to, let's add, how about we add some of these snowflakes onto where we're going to do our, now what we can do, instead of having joy to you and yours here. What you can do is actually write your little, um, you know, to and from on this layer, on this portion. But I thought, ah, oh, let's jazz it up with some of our fun stamps and whatnot. So then I'm gonna leave the writing part to the back. If that makes sense. So I wanna jazz this up a little bit. You know, do I have a strip of DSP laying around? That could be cute too. I have a lot of a lot of this paper left, so I'm going to have to get use it some more. There, I like that. I think I bought two packages of it because I loved it so much. I normally don't do that. Ah, I was also getting ready. Oh, see, dingling here, dear. Shouldn't have done it this way. I should have done it with the liquid glue. I'm gonna do it straight. Oh, pretty good, pretty good. All right, so now let's just jazz this up with some, with some of these adorable little snowflakes adhesive back snowflakes that I'm giving away if you purchase a package of this beautiful designer series paper with me during this week it's my feature of the week special where do you get your plastic envelopes to hold your DSP um, I had bought them um, from Stampin Up was part of their um, uh, when they did memories and more like the scrapbooking kind of line so that's usually what I do I just put it in the, those 12 by 12 plastic sheets and that way all my you know scraps I put at the front 
and the large sheets I put at the back. So I go and grab the you know smaller sheets first, use those up, smaller bits and pieces first. And I don't know, it just keeps it all kind of easily contained. I put them in my IKEA shelves up and down. Um, I like it works for me. That one there. Let's go. Let's put some over here too. Let's close the sucker up and see where we can add a little pizzazz. Do, do, do. There. Oh, look at all the sparkle and happy. I love it. All right. So there we go. There is our accordion fold card. Now, of course, I wonder if you could probably go this direction. I don't see why not. Oh, oh, maybe we could do. Hey, if you had kind of a real card, maybe something, you know, something like this would be kind of cool. Just some idea. Always trying to branch out and figure something out from one layout idea. Okay, so there's this one. And here's the other one that I made earlier using the same sort of things. Uh, once again, this is more of a dark color, but, and I use the stitched nested label dies. Still use that dainty diamonds. So pretty neat. And this one I did sort of the same. Joy to the world, sending joy to the world. Okay, so I'm curious, which one do you like better? Do you like the light or the dark version better? Light, dark. Let me know your vote. Light or the dark? Once again, here's the dark and here's the light. We've got some uh, competition today. The last few days when I did this question, I uh, everybody was pretty much the same. Today we've got some different opinions, like it. Let's see, I'm covering everything up now. Anyways, there we go. That makes it easier. So there you go. There's the fun fold today using up that designer series paper. Once again, you can probably use a lot of strips up with, you know, your leftover pieces to make this card. I'm sure that you could go bigger in this um, accordion part. You could probably even do a, a part that's, you know, four by, I know, five and a, uh, five by, five by four, five by three and three quarters, but you'd have to kind of figure out the measurements that make the nice accordion fold, I suppose. But um, options, always, always there, right? All right, awesome. Well, thank you so much for joining me on my Friday and making it a much better day <laughs> than it started out to be. Just a reminder that the feature of the week is that beautiful snowflake splendor designer series paper and if you purchase that with me this week I'm gonna send you some of those beautiful adhesive back snowflakes and to make this deal sweeter guess what that paper is on the giant year-end closeout special so it is actually retiring at the end of this month so after this month you're not gonna be able to get it anymore so grab some now and uh, not only that, but it's on sale, 20% off. So um, what a better time to get that. And I think that you can use this paper much longer than Christmas. So I know you'll end up using it for quite a while. I also have a, another thing to sweeten the deal. Anybody who purchases $50 or more from me this month, I'm putting your name into a draw to win these playful alphabet dies 
they're expensive. I accidentally bought two packages and I don't need two. So I'm giving one away to somebody who places an order with me this month of $50 or more. So make sure you check that out. Get your orders in. All right. Thank you, everybody. Thanks for all the comments and the heart. Oh, look at all the hearts I got. Oh, love it. Love it. You must have liked these cards. So I will be back here tomorrow. Not really. Look for a color question tomorrow on my Facebook page. That will be vital because I'm going to use one of the color combinations for our Wild Card Wednesday next week. Next week's going to have a new feature. I actually had a little sneak of it. I told everybody to plug their ears. <laughs> and I just told Amy <laughs> uh, what the feature of the week is next week. So it's going to be lots of fun playing around with that. Um, we will go Monday to Thursday. And Friday, of course, is Christmas. So I will take Christmas off because otherwise Kevin, I think, will hurt me. <laughs> um, other than that, yes. Saturday will be the color question. Everyone can participate. It's free. Uh, Sunday will be the sharing Sunday to check out and see, you know, what have you been up to lately? Can be all sorts of creative projects. I just, I love seeing those. And then Monday will be back here at 10 a.m. I don't think I have any appointments. I have an appointment at 11, so I'm going to have to be quick. Uh, 10 a.m., but I'm also going to have my mail it out. No. No mail it out Monday challenge until after the new year. So you'll just have to deal with me. Sorry. <laughs> All right, everyone. So I hope to see you next week and uh, when we get to play with something else. Bye, everyone. <laughs>